Today I'm going to show you how to remove a broken printer nozzle from the up printer. Now, as you know, the up printer is very good at printing air. The nozzle blocks. You then try to undo it after it blocks several times. The brass nozzle starts to round off. You try to undo it and it snaps off. You end up with break a nozzle. So what do you do after you bashed it and kicked it and swore and cried and it's rather quite simple. First of all what you have to do is get the acetone. Uh, I buy a large container from eBay, the hairdressing supplies, that's the cheapest value. Remove the printer head. It's held in by the one cap screw on there. Remove the cable. Then you need to remove the heater and the temperature gauge by undoing the two screws. Once they are removed, you'll then find your nozzle has broken off from there. Then you'll find this feeder shaft is tight. So you then soak that whole assembly in acetone. You can wait overnight, but normally if you leave it, say over the weekend, that will loosen it off. You then remove the two screws that hold this in, and that may be tight, and if it is too tight, soak it a bit more. As you can see it's necked in and it actually is quite easy to bend this. You can slowly straighten it in a vise to get it square again but when you've bashed it <laughs> on the machine you can bend it. So once that's loose you then can just poke out the excess um, plastic. A drill can screw it out then it should start to work its way out. Then when it's worked out, that's what it looks like. This one is slightly bent. That's because I like to hit the printer with a hammer. So, then you're left with the tiny little broken threaded part of the nozzle. Again, you can soak it. If it's in tight, you'll need to soak it, so soak it again overnight and as it's soaking you can go down to the shop buy one of these. They're known as an easy out. They come in a pack of several sizes. You can buy a, uh, a pack or one. Now size is better, they can, the trade name is easy out or broken stud remover, that type of thing. And the way they work normally is you drill a hole, this is a left hand spiral, so as you tighten it into the hole, the spiral grips and actually turns the stud or the thread in the loosening direction. So as it tightens, it then grips and starts to move. Trouble is with brass, if you try it when this is still fairly locked in tight, you will just strip the brass away as you do it. So what you do is soak overnight, get your easy out, and the way they work is they just fit in the hole. So you can see just how far that one's going in. Maybe three, four mil. So in the set you just find the one that you use. When they snap off you normally tend to grind them down so you might have to use the next size up. So, soaked it, 
you've ordered your easy out, that's come in the mail, or you've gone down to the local engineering supply or the auto accessory shop and brought one. And then you also need a tap wrench. You can use the shifting spanner, but a tap wrench is better. And these just then fit in and you nip it up. When this is soaking, draw it out, come back, push it in, then you turn it in the opposite direction or the direction as, as if you're going to undo the thread. And as you can see, this one now is coming out. If it does start to get loose, push it down a bit harder and then turn it, but not too hard, like I said, you'll strip the brass. And then undo it, and out comes the broken part of the thread. Then you just, you can soak the, they are difficult to get off because it's actually screwed in, but that, you can then get plies and that is no longer used. So that's what the nozzle looks like in one piece. That's what it looks like when it's broken. Fairly easy. A couple of bucks for an easy out, and it's all fixed. So you could clean it, then just assemble it in the reverse order and put it back. But the problem, like I said, with the nozzles is they've only got a flat and a flat, it's not a hex, so you can only grip it in two positions and they start to round off and you can no longer grip it. So that's why it ends up breaking. So, so I hope that will solve a few problems and you get your printer head back up running without too much trouble. Thanks for watching.